All right, let's go and talk a little bit about the uh, preferences, some operations, and modifiers. So down here we have the Blender preferences. Here we have some uh, interface settings such as um, scale. So if you increase that, all the UI elements going to be scaled. So back to one. Uh, here in the interface, we don't have any interesting things. No. So let's go viewport. And in the viewport, let's see. Let's see what we have here. So some gizmo size and uh, nothing useful at the moment. Let's go for lights. And here, here, let's go ahead and install some HDRI lights or high dynamic range images. So let's go install. I'm going to go to some lights right here. I download all of these from um, Polyhaven. Let's go select everything and install light. It's going to take a minute. Everything is locked right now. I can't click on anything. So all the lights were installed and you can find them right here. Right in the scene light. So let's go editing then. Editing. I'm not seeing anything useful. Nothing in animation. And one important thing from version 4.2, the current version, they added extensions. So um, it's the same as add-on, but they uh, split them in a setting, add-on or um, installation extension. I don't know why, but they did it. So uh, in it's some um, online access. So give it access. All right, uh, it's loading all the uh, extensions uh, in the uh, new extension web service or web page in the uh, Blender community. So uh, let's go search for uh, Pi. And uh, here I need this uh, to the viewport Pi. So let's go hit install. All right, that's installed. Let's go another um, add-on let's go for look tools we need that for this course as well so install that all righty now let's go to the add-on and open up to the view and from all of these pie menus i just need the let's say let me disable all of them here i just need the where is it um control alt x up here to the view origin pi menu so keep that and uh loop tools doesn't have any setting yep so uh, that's that let's go to the uh, theme and here you can uh, choose between light dark or install any uh, theme and for the add-ons also you can install from this still so let's go for the input here if you don't have any numpad key you can emulate the numpad if you check this one the uh, number row on top of your keyboard become a numpad so below that we don't have anything navigation do uh, i would like to check this orbit around the selection and zoom to mouse position so if i add any object to the scene all right before that we would orient around the center and zoom to center right there so check this too and depth to be able to zoom infinitely right there and key map you can find any um, hotkey combination or search here and change the hotkey all righty and also there's are some splash screen let's say settings i change the spacebar action to search you can change it back to play so system though if you have a uh, dedicated gpu just go here and change that to be able to render on gpu and let's go on the step to 56 the maximum and don't forget to save or Check the autosave. And that's that. All right. 
let's go ahead and experiment on this um, cube so if i hit um control tab the pi menu of mode will be open up edit is number six or simply grab your mesh and hit tab and open up the uh, edit mode so we have the uh, usual suspects we have the vertex the building block of any 3d model so we need at least two vertex to make an edge in between as you might know and a three to five um, verts make a face right here so face vert and edge and switch between them is one two and three on your keyboard right there so the operation we will use in this course um, are extrude so hit e to extrude and lock it to one axis is e followed by z y or x key so if i grab this one and e right there and e right there and be able to extrude the mesh or hit alt e to access the extrude menu so in here we will use uh, extrude along normal face a lot so another uh, action or operation is to inset and hotkey is i so inset is this operation and this menu after any operation will open up to change the thickness or any setting related to that operation so we have that and also as i mentioned before if i hit i pay attention to this status bar down here if i hit i the information will change so we have some hotkey to change the operation let me quickly go ahead and delete this defected cube and add another cube go to edit mode and let's say with shift grab this two and hit i right now it's in setting um, with the boundary b key down here so uh, if i hit i it's gonna change and switch to individual so b key is the uh, boundary and i is the uh, individual any edge or vert selected and hit ctrl b or the uh, hotkey for bevel and be able to As a P for profile, so first of all, we need a little bit more segment to uh, be able to see the profile. So I'm gonna, um, while this one's selected and live, a scroll more um, segments. So if I hit P, it's gonna switch the profile, uh, change after confirming. So this one is open up, and this is the shape, the profile right there this is the width and this is the segments and also down here we have the custom profiles as well so let's say preset of step so that was the bevel for you and let's uh, see that action with the uh, vertex so uh, ctrl shift b is the hotkey for this one it's keeping the preset so let's go back to the default and drop the segment a bit and change the shape right there all right it's good for making holes so let's go back and uh, grab the um, edges hit a to grab everything and right click and choose subdivide so right click uh, contains some in useful information such as subdivide and as you see here we are in edge so right click containing some edge uh, actions so let's go after adding some new edges grab this middle one ctrl shift b and make something like this and change that to 
uh, I believe 0 0.1 yeah that makes it uh, circle so switch to a face and E for extrude and you have something like this all right and we have some selection right here selection related um, stuff we're gonna use the inner selection later in the course the only thing important right here is the shift G so if I go ahead and grab one of these faces and hit the shift G or select similar and grab the coplanar it's gonna select um, the plane right there and we're gonna use that in our course later on when we making this um, portion button right there so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some uh, modifiers so we're gonna use some of these modifiers modifiers will change the mesh but in a non-destructive way so remember when we um, activate the pie menu for view so hit ctrl alt and x and you have access to uh, changing the origin to whatever you want so let's say bottom right now the origin sets on bottom the pivot point so uh, let's go to the edit mode and to demonstrate the uh, mirror i'm going to put the origin right here origin is there right now so uh, go ahead and use the ctrl alt x and origin to selection right there so back here and let's go to the modifier generate and go mirror it's going to mirror based on your uh, origin pie so that's the mirror we're going to use that a lot mirror on any direction right there and also you have the clipping to uh, merge at the middle after that we have the uh, solidify so to demonstrate that i have to go back to the edit mode and let's say with shift g grab the planar and delete and delete faces right and let's go grab all of this but the back side is not selected so we need to switch to the x-ray mode so delete faces so go alt z and now we have an empty cube so let's go back to the object mode and go to generate and uh, solidify and solidify as the name says gonna make things thicker you need to be in object mode to apply any modifiers either using this drop down to apply it or go on top of this uh, modifier property and hit ctrl a so that's baked into the mesh right now so another one is where is it subdivision surface it's going to make things smoother by adding segment to the scene we're going to use this one a lot a lot so uh there was it so little bit of introduction to everything so later on when we making this beautiful portion bottle we're gonna use all of these and I'm gonna explain them um, during this course. So that was it. Let's go ahead and start building the potion butter.